Here are the top three unrealized military ideas. Number three, Project Washtub. Project Washtub was a covert operation initiated by the United States during the Cold War. It was established in the 1950s, specifically around 1954, as a part of the United States' efforts to counteract potential Soviet threats. The project was not widely known until it was declassified decades later. The primary aim of Project Washtub was to prepare for a potential Soviet invasion of Alaska. During this period, the threat of Soviet expansion and the prospect of a nuclear war were major concerns for the U.S. government. Alaska, due to its proximity to the Soviet Union, was considered a likely target. Under Project Washtub, the U.S. government secretly trained and equipped a network of civilian operatives in Alaska. These operatives, often referred to as stay-behind agents, were ordinary Alaskan residents who were tasked with providing a resistance network in the event of a Soviet invasion. Their training included guerrilla warfare tactics, survival skills, and methods of secret communication. The project was part of a larger strategy of the U.S. during the Cold War to establish similar networks in various European countries under NATO, known as stay-behind networks. The most famous of these was the Italian Operation Gladio. Project Washtub was eventually phased out as the perceived threat of a Soviet invasion of Alaska diminished. The declassification of the project has shed light on the lengths to which the U.S. government went during the Cold War to prepare for a worst-case scenario involving the Soviet Union. The revelation of such projects has also led to a discussion and debates about the ethics and effectiveness of such covert operations. Number 2. Project Habakkuk Project Habakkuk was a highly unconventional and ambitious British plan during World War II. The idea, proposed by Geoffrey Pike, was to construct an aircraft carrier out of pikerite, a mixture of wood, pulp and ice. This material was found to be surprisingly strong and resistant to melting, and it was thought to be a cheaper and more resource-efficient alternative to steel. The rationale behind Project Habakkuk was driven by the need for air support in the mid-Atlantic, where German U-boats were wrecking havoc on Allied shipping. Traditional metal aircraft carriers were expensive and resource-intensive to build, and the British were exploring innovative solutions to overcome these challenges. A prototype was actually built in Alberta, Canada, on Lake Patricia. This small-scale model was used to test the feasibility of the concept. However, the project faced numerous challenges. The sheer size of the proposed carrier would have made it extremely difficult to maneuver. Additionally, the cooling system required to keep the pikecrete from melting was complex and energy-intensive. Ultimately, Project Habakkuk was never realized on a full scale. The rapid advancements in other wartime technology, particularly in aircraft range and the development of long-range bombers, made the project redundant. Additionally, the end of the war reduced the need for such an extraordinary measure. Number 1. Acoustic Kitty The Acoustic Kitty project was a clandestine CIA operation during the 1960s which aimed to use cats for espionage purposes. The idea was to equip cats with audio surveillance devices and deploy them to eavesdrops on Soviet embassies and other areas of interest during the Cold War. Here's a breakdown of what is known about the project. The project reportedly involved implanting a small microphone in the cat's ear canal, a radio transmitter at the base of its skull, and a thin wire into its fur. This equipment was intended to turn the cat into a living, mobile listening device. The project faced numerous challenges, not least of which was the training of the cat. Cats are known for their independence and unpredictability, making them difficult to train for specific tasks, especially in the complex and dynamic environments of espionage. 
the most famous and possibly the only field test involved releasing a cat in the vicinity of a Soviet compound in Washington, D.C. Legend has it that the cat was hit by a car and killed shortly after being released, leading to the termination of the project. However, details of this accident and the overall project are sparse and not well documented, making it difficult to verify the specifics. The project was reportedly cancelled due to the practical challenges of training and controlling the cats as well as the technological limitations of the time. The cost of the project is said to have been around $20 million. Much of what is known about the Acoustic Kitty project comes from the declassified CIA documents and anecdotal accounts. The full extent of the project its successes or failures and other operational details remain largely classified or unknown.